now? Yes. Great. So come you're here. Um, we are connecting from South Anatolia, South Turkey, and we just arrived home after uh, almost 10 days of journey with family and being with friends. Um, yeah, we just came back home an hour ago. We had food. Um, what am I hoping <laughs> for this call? Just to be present in the presence of wisdom. There's so much beauty in, in what you're doing in now and how you have opened space for us and for Deborah and for everybody else. So just to be with you and enjoy. Thank you, Kamya. So good to see you. <clears throat> Hello, this is Seda. It's so nice to be here again. I think it's the third time that we are connecting to our circle. Mm -hmm. And this time it's really great pleasure for me to be here to your invitation for Debra. And it's an honor to uh, introduce her, to have introduced her before. So, yeah, for, for a few days, I'm coming from a space. In the, I mean, the uh, part of the journey was really deep in terms of the uh, people I was surrounded with during the last couple of days. And now when I just uh, became online here and saw all faces, I said, okay, I came to another beautiful space with other beautiful people. <laughs> no difference again. I just have the same feeling and it's amazing. I'm looking forward to connect more deeper level with all you and, and expand this art connection. Thank you for including us on your journey. Um, Polly. Uh, your audio is muted. You need to unmute yourself, yeah. And that's uh, that's at the lower left uh, side of your... Uh... I am Polly. I am in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains near Charlottesville, Virginia, in the U.S. And I am here because the bees called me. <laughs> and also, I am here to be in circle and community with you, offering the best of myself and offering space for you to also offer the best for Thank us you, for our community. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, I just want to point out one technical thing for those of you who may not be too familiar with Zoom. You can change the way your, um, your screen looks. If you, if you scroll up to the upper right of the window, you can toggle back and forth between the speaker view and the gallery view. And the gallery view allows you to uh, see all of us at the same time. Okay. Uh, next on my gallery view is uh, Daria. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, right now, I'm in the north of Anatolia in Istanbul. It's very beautiful to, to be in the circle. Um, yeah. I hear my voice e echoing. Yeah, we hear echoes. Um, but anyway, do the best you can. Okay. Yeah, what it took me here, uh, Debra. <laughs> yeah, I love her. I love listening to her. I will be offering offer my uh, deep listening today and my presence. Presence. <laughs> Thank you, Daria. Thank you for joining us, um, Len. Good morning, uh, Len Trobman, in San Mateo, near San Francisco, about fifteen miles from the Pacific Ocean, um, in Northern California. Um, today, I'm really interested in hearing about the ex human experience of living with and nurturing bees and learning about them and what that has to do with uh, decisions we make, make every day and what it has to do with people ourselves. Thank you, Len. Um, is Libby there? 
Oh, Libby is separate. Okay. Uh, you got your own uh, screen here. Okay. Moving right along. How about you, Libby? Uh, Libby Trobman, and I'm in the same place that Lynn is, but upstairs. <laughs> and um, I was born in Lenore, North Carolina, so I'm uh, feeling my connections with Deborah as she sits there and uh, picturing my uh, roots way back when, many, many years ago. And Lynn, what Lynn said, I agree with. We have a fairly large garden and not too many bees. And I know how critical they are to not only our little garden, but to the whole living system. So I'm really interested in your love of bees and all the things that you can teach us about them. Thank you, Libby. Um, Rabbi Diane. Uh, the, the, the link is on the lower left of your, uh, of your window there. There you go. It was hidden. I'm uh, Diane Elliott. I'm in El Sobrante, California. The rain is pouring down in sheets. The wind is whipping around and shaking our building. Um, I did some work many years ago with Lane Redmond, and um, I'm really interested in the uh, the deep and long spiritual significance of bees as, um, in a sense, the, the minions of the goddess and the ancient divine feminine, as well as how bees are challenged and also teaching us in our current reality. So I'm so glad to be here with you today. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Um, Wendy. I'm Wendy, and like Libby, I'm upstairs <laughs> uh, from uh, my husband, uh, how are you? <laughs> and um, it's uh, wonderful just to be with everybody and see them remembering how beautiful your music was when uh, you and Kamiar were with us at one time. Um, and I'm, I'm just delighted because part of my spiritual path has been relationship, relationship with animals and plants. And I'm very fascinated in terms of how one can be in relationship with bees when bees is, I think we mentioned it, it's more of a collective and being in relationship with the collective rather than me, you know, cuddling with my cat. So, uh, and uh, what uh, Rabbi Diane said, uh, that I didn't realize there was a connection with the divine feminine. So I'm, I'm fascinated and looking forward to this. Thank you, Wendy. Um, uh, Kindala and Rabbi Eli. Hi, I'm Eli. We live in uh, California on the Central Coast. We have been uh, house-sitting in many, many places for many months now and hoping to move to our own home next week. Uh, we're currently in a place in La Selva Beach. It's absolutely beautiful, surrounded on a hilltop, by some beautiful native plants and gardens overlooking the Pacific. So it's a really beautiful place to pause and reflect on bees, which I've been fascinated with since I was a kid, but I feel share the uncertainty that I'm feeling in the world, uh, not only because of the political situation, because of our own home situation, the environmental situation. So I'd love to learn how to be more in relationship with them. Thank you, Eli. I'm Akindele or Akiva, and um, again, like Eli said, we have been moving around quite a bit. So we are looking forward to uh, going to our own place uh, in, uh, in a few days. But anyway, um, I think um, I'm fascinated by bees, even though I do not know much about them. Uh, but the one thing is clear, because uh, we are opening a restaurant uh, very shortly, um, and it's a vegan restaurant, so I'm really concerned about the environment for sure. And I know that there's a critical uh, part that the bees play in our lives uh, in, and in the environment. So I think I'm ready and I want to be present uh, to hear what you have to say about this. Thank you, Akindala. Uh, Sonia. And your unmute is on the uh, the left lower corner of your window. One moment. 
Oh, there you go. Yes. <laughs> I am, I know about this call through Daria and it's interesting because more and more bees are coming into my life somehow. My parents have bees in their garden now. And then I went to a funeral and met a woman which works really beautifully with bees in New York. And I heard more and more stories and now this uh, link to this call. So I'm uh, without my intention a relationship is building to bees. I'm excited where it's going. Thank you, Sana. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Mary, I see uh, your uh, Mary's iPad there. Uh, is Mary there too? I am here. Can awesome. you hear me? Yes, very well. I just don't know how to access the camera. But I'm here because I've read a lot about Deborah and Lane Redmond and their work together. And I've been a beekeeper for the past six years in Cape May, New Jersey. Ah. My bee club, my association, uh, is very anti non treatment and very interfering with the way of bees. And I'm just wondering educate myself as much as I can so I can share uh, some of the collective wisdom from people who have successfully kept bees and sheltered bees and protected bees without interference. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mary. Great to have you with us. Um, just checking in myself. Uh, I'm Arie. Uh, Wendy and I live a few blocks from the Pacific Ocean, uh, south of San Francisco, which is just raging right now. <laughs> we, we get amazing views of clouds and waves. And um, uh, power has been going out sporadically around here. So if it goes out uh, in the next hour or so, we have a battery backup, which will hopefully uh, work just fine. Um, I am interested in how relating to bees, what I can learn from that about relationship with nature in general and, and with all, all, the, all the creatures and all the life around us that I might not ordinarily pay so much attention to. And I want to just open up the gates of my awareness about that. 